Gwen Fox, and I'm so glad that you're here. Today's going to be very exciting because I'm going to be doing an interview with a gal that I've been coaching, but she's really special because she's come a long way in a short period of time. Her name is Margaret Dukeman, and I'm going to introduce her to you right now so that you get to meet her. And here is Margaret. Hello, Hi. Margaret. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Hey, listen, we've got people that want to know all about you. So tell us, like, where do you live and how long have you been painting and so forth? Okay. Um, I live in Huntsville, Alabama. I was born and raised in the Midwest. As you can tell, I don't have much of a Southern accent, <laughs> but um, I've been, lived here now for 33 years. So it's it's home. It's, it's home. home. Yeah. Yeah. And I've been, I've been painting. Wow. I've been painting probably about 30 years. Uh, before that I was, a, I'm a graphic designer by trade. Um, but like most artists, we've done a, a bit of everything. So um, I, I've done, I did graphic design freelance for quite a while. And then I went on to painting and painting got brought to the forefront after I had an aunt and uncle killed instantly in a car accident. And I realized just how short life is. So I decided that, yep. I, I needed to get on with what I really, really wanted to do, which was the painting. So, so that brings me to today. Wow. Well, I want to thank you for taking the time, number one, to be here, because I know you're busy and uh, because you live, uh, I mean, not live, but you visit Ireland a lot. I do. I do. Yeah. I go, um, most years I go for eight, about eight weeks at a time. And this year I'm actually going to go twice. And Lucky you. So, um, yeah, yeah. So I go over there. I do a lot of research. I take a lot of photos. I'm, a, I'm also a bit of a photographer. So I take photos and I do watercolors and use the Irish Sea as part of the water for the watercolors. So I'd be, bring a, yeah, I bring a bit of that Ireland back with me <laughs> in, through the <laughs> through the watercolors. And I, so I spend a lot of time walking the hills and driving the back roads and just soaking in every bit of the color and atmosphere I can. And then I got to meet you because during the pandemic, you signed up for the master class. I did. Yeah. So the sanity of getting, you know, having something to do because everybody was stuck now. And then you went from the master class to coaching. I did. I did. You know, the master class, it was neat because the master class let me dip my toe into spending time with you and seeing if personalities were going to come together. If I liked the direction, how the direction that you were teaching and things like that. Right. And um, I really, I so enjoyed it. And I so enjoyed the other artists that were in the group. It was a great and, group. You know, we had an amazing group and it yes. wasn't even so big. It was, it was a nice size. We all got um, great critiques in and we were able to really work together. Right. And th those people are still friends of mine today. I still follow them. I know. They follow me. And, and anytime we get a chance to get together, we do, which isn't too often because we live all over the place, even in um, some in Ireland. Yes. So, there, were, um, yeah. there were two in Ireland. There were, yeah. There were yeah. two in Ireland. So uh, the one thing I remember about you in the master class is that I could see that you had talent or abilities that you didn't know you had, that you did hadn't recognized yet. And it was kind of like you were, you were working and you were serious and you were going for it, but you had your brakes on as you had the pedal going. I did. I absolutely <laughs> did. Um, and, yeah, that was that. And it was just something that I hadn't, I don't think I ever would have noticed by myself, hmm. but, but getting into a class situation, a coaching situation, um, someone from outside that has the knowledge is able to say, Hey, take a look at this, take a look at that. Um, and, and it wake, awakes you and it lets you go outside of that normal box, which yeah. I think is so, so incredibly important And it. But sometimes unless we're kicked out of the box or get voted off the box, we don't, we don't bother to, um, go outside of that. No. And it's just, it, it made a huge difference for me to be able to have someone say, Hey, go ahead and try it. 
I think I think you sit there, you realize that, you know, your supplies are expensive. You've had people make comments here, or comments there. You know, and I've been through college. I've been through critiques many, many times. But um, you you tend to stay safe. Unless, yep, unless you sure sure do. go outside of that space. Yeah. No one wants to be voted off the island. <laughs> Nobody. Yes, that's right. You were you were at, I think the word that you used was that you were reserved. I was. I was. Because you were Absolutely. playing it safe. I was. I was very much playing it safe. Um, I was I had I had always done um pretty much realism when I painted. Um, because I'd ask, I'd get asked many times, you know, people with abstracts will say, well, what is, what is that supposed to be? <laughs> it's, it's like, no, I'm not in kindergarten. It's not supposed to be any, exactly anything at, at all. <laughs> oh, I know people will ask the darndest things and they're adults. Yeah, they are. <laughs> no. but, but as I find it fascinating to free someone up to say it doesn't have to be anything. Does it does it appeal to you? Mm -hmm. I think meeting them where they're at, I think, is a is an interesting place for the artist to be where we open up to them and say, it's okay for you to have this feeling that it needs to be something. Because they don't always realize that either. That that yeah, they don't right. want to hurt, they don't want to hurt your feelings. They need the permission to say, Hmm, that one's not for me. And you said, that's right. It must not be because if it's for you, you're going to know it and you're going to take it home. That's right. That's right. I will never forget when I moved from painting realistic flowers to doing the abstracts. And one gal says, I can't wait till you get back to the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, I've got to remember that. That's a good statement. <laughs> and isn't that great? Isn't that great? I mean, and abstracts aren't for everyone. Not everyone. Um, it's not, they're just not for everyone. No, but no. As, a, as an artist, I can tell you, you know, when you finally get to the point where you have the confidence to move in a direction that goes against what some people may think you should be doing, yes. that's when some of the excitement happens. It, you, have, you have opened yourself to say, hey, I am who I am. And I'm painting for me. I have to get this out of my soul. Right. To a canvas. And right. some of the best magic happens then. Yeah. And the one thing that I noticed about you and I noticed about uh, actually every person, every artist that I coach uh, is that your confidence grew tremendously as you <laughs> progress because Margaret, you changed your brush strokes. You changed your subject. You changed how you looked at things. You changed almost everything within uh, a year and a half period. Yeah. I mean, you worked, you worked your ass off. I did. I did. I worked really, really hard you uh, did. For, me for a long time, but the last year and a half, uh, year and a half to two years, it's been really, really digging deep and, and finding what makes me sing. Yes. Because what makes me sing is going to make someone else sing. And um, I, I just think that's so important. So important. Well, you you brought up a really good point about supplies and paint being, you know, you don't want to waste. You don't want to waste anything because it's really expensive. and Or you feel like it is. You don't want to waste. Yeah. And that's one of the things that I think will cause you to do this. It is. It is because well, you, know, you don't put enough out. You just put a little bit out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't. You know, I didn't come from a family that had a tremendous amount of money, and, mm -hmm. and so I was always taught to be careful. To be careful with your sure. supplies. Be careful with your food. Don't waste your food. Don't waste your supplies. That's right. Make it. You know. Make it. Make it. Um. Make it count. Make it. Make count. it count. Yes. And no, I'm making it count, but I'm also living outside my box. Which yeah. is which is a whole lot of fun. Once you can put a door in that box and get out, um, it's amazing the things that can happen. And I mean, my brush strokes have going doing the um, the master class where um, we did we worked on some abstracts and things like that. It allowed right. me it allowed me to take um, the brush and use it on its side, or use it yeah. straight at it. it. You know, all these things that you're like, 
that's going to hurt the brush. Let's use it like this. Yes. You know? Cause I don't want to, you know, I don't want to hurt anything. That's right. Like, That's right. And the other thing is that I think we feel, and I don't know if you do, but I bet you do, uh, is that when you go into the studio and you pull out a new canvas that you've got to paint a painting. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It has, you know? there has to be a direction. There has yes. to be a direction. Yes, but, but it's not so much that way now, and I think that's because because of the abstract pulling the abstracts out as well. Mm -hmm. I think it allows me to let my let my mind roam, let my um, vision roam, um, and 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 go in different directions. And it really, I have to say, working with abstracts, I've always been someone who loves color, loves color, likes likes the saturation of it and everything else, but. With the masterclass, one thing I was taught was to um, limit my colors, which was yeah. something. Right. I, I have a whole chest of color. It's like it's like I haven't met a color I didn't like except for what's that color, Gwen? Yes, it's red. red. <laughs> yes, I, I think I found one I did like though. <laughs> I found one I did like. That's good. That's good. <laughs> but, but by limiting my colors, it encouraged me to do more mixing. It encouraged me to yeah. again go outside that box. And bring colors together that I wouldn't necessarily say, oh, those go together. Mm -hmm. um, so limiting your colors makes all the difference in the world. You can have a chest of colors. but um, We all do. We do. We oh, do. yes. Fact, it's the candy yeah. store. Let's face it. Oh, it's the candy store. But you made a statement that I think is awesome. And now in your brain, there is no box. No, there's not. There's not at all. I mean, my docs, my box now has windows and doors and I'm out. You're out. And that, that is awesome. That is so way cool. But you've done all of this, all of this growth. And I'm sure some people think oh, she's so lucky and it happened. I mean, look at her. She just, she just, uh, this, she just paints really beautifully and it's normal for her. But you worked hard for this and you grew and let's see within the last, I think maybe is it six months or eight months, mm -hmm. all of a sudden our work together has come to a bloom actually to come to fruition because, okay, not everybody gets a one woman show at a museum. They don't. That was, I was so excited to be offered that. Oh. Um, I, I, they came to me. I didn't, I didn't necessarily seek them out. And I was looking at, at, at having around 60 pieces. So I had to have a large, large inventory. Um, and I absolutely loved every minute of it. Um, I, it's, it was, to be to be featured in a museum was such an honor for me, and I really enjoyed every minute of it. The um, to see to see the entire museum full of my work. Oh, that it, I mean, that is an incredible has to be an incredible feeling. Plus, it was it was amazing. It was amazing. You open I open the door and it's me. I mean, I I'm know. going to museums going. Oh look, look at all these amazing paintings. And I open the door and it was me just you and that see that is phenomenal but there is another aspect to this <laughs> they paid to get in to listen to her talk about her work and about ireland they they did it was it was um it was an evening that was all about ireland and they featured they had a dinner and the dinner i helped them pick out different things that would be Irish to have at the meal. And, and I spoke and I talked about my travels there. What brought me there? What brought me to Ireland the first time was my mother for her 70th birthday. We, um, my sisters and I decided we were going to take her. She'd always wanted to go. And my mother, my mother wanted to go to the countryside. And I thought, Oh gosh, what are we doing? What are we doing? And, and little did I know that, that would completely change the direction of my art from then on it was it was the colors it was the structures of the mountains it yeah. was the it was the people um our ancestry comes from the Barra peninsula and um there is something there is such a draw to southwest ireland and west cork that um i don't know it must be in the dna somewhere so it must um, be yeah 
so I got to talk to them and tell them how how I walked the how I walked the mountainsides, how I walked the land, how I absorb the colors and bring part of it back with me through photos and watercolors. And then I come to my studio here and I actually do the, the oil paintings. Yeah. Um, oil right. paintings would just be so difficult to transport back from. Right. Um, yeah. You can't do that. You no, know, uh, but it, it also, once again, it allows me to go outside of that box by doing watercolors, which was something 15 years ago. I had, oh, that's in great. College. So, yeah. so I, once again, I jumped outside my comfort zone box and said, I'm doing water be colors because they can be transported. Right. Also, I can use the water from the sea to bring back just that little bit of Ireland with me. What a little tiny thing that's <laughs> absolutely huge is the water <laughs> from the sea. And I think, you know, that's, you know, but not only did you uh, talk about your work, but then you realized how important it is for artists to know how, you know, that big word, how mm -hmm. to talk about the work, plus getting over the jitters of it. And you yeah. ended up loving every minute of it. I did. I really enjoyed speaking with the people and um, letting them know what inspires my work. And, yes. and by them knowing what inspires my work, it actually in turn resulted in even more sales. Well, that's what it was going to bring up. See, it, we yeah. know how to talk about your work. People want to know about you and your art. And exactly. when they want to know about both things, you've got a sale. Yeah, it, it's amazing. I mean, I had made sales before that, but this actually probably doubled the sales that I had. Yeah, that's had awesome. Yeah. And people were asking me very specific about different things, different places. What what brought you to this, this sure. stage or what brought you to this ruin? that ended up being a painting. And it was, it was, I've got such joy out of talking to the people and relating my experiences. Cause I feel that, that I want people to be as infectious about um, whatever it is that inspires them. For me, it's sure. Ireland. Yeah. Um, but it's just, I think it's important that they know why, why the colors. I, I love going in the fall because I love the rust that there's amazing rust, but yet there's, there's the purples and the, yeah yellows yeah. of Heather and Gorse. So you have all those colors playing off each other on the side of mountains. So it just um, is incredible. And I talking to the people couldn't be more of a pleasure to me. See, and that's so, okay. So now you did that. And then, I mean, guys, I mean, this woman is hot. <laughs> um, then you got a residency in Germany. I did. I did. You know, you never know. Um, and I always, I like meeting people anyway. So, but you never know who you're going to meet and where, where it's going to take you. Um, but I had met some other artists. I'd taken a, a summer course at the Byrne College of Design, which is uh, on the, um, it's up in County Clare, uh, just south of Galway. And met some artists there and they were from Germany. Well, that was about three or four years ago. That was before the pandemic. And they, I got contacted by them to see if I would be interested in coming for a residency. It's a two week residency. They pretty much take care of everything. Um, so I was like, I think that would be a great opportunity to do some work. Oh, with you. Awesome. I mean, yeah. And this is, this is in July. It's in the high season. It's summertime. Um, and yes, I'll be anxious to leave Alabama and the heat and humidity. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm sure you will. And you know, look at the growth. You took a chance, took the master class, took a bigger chance, and we've spent two years together coaching. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you changed your style, you changed your brush strokes, you changed your colors, you changed so much. You grew in confidence. You grew in the fact of, um, yeah, you grew yeah, as far as you changed your subject matter too, didn't you? Because you went to abstract and. Mm -hmm then all of these things started happening. And that's what happens when you're passionate and you take action and you took action. And the action is really important. I mean, getting yes. out there and meeting the people and, and being willing to talk about and knowing why your art is what it is. Yes. I think it's so important to be able to talk about why you like certain colors. Rust is a favorite color of mine. I know it has a hint of red, but I still like it. <laughs> But yes. the rest, to me, it shows, it shows passing of time. And I think the passing of time is, is what a lot of things are about. Yes. Yeah. 
but it's, you've just blossomed and grown so much that I've done, I've done a lot of that because of you though. Oh, you're you sweet. Are, you are a huge inspiration to me with your, with the way that you work with your clients, you take it 110% seriously. Um, I just, I couldn't have done it without you. I went to, I went to have seen some of the things I needed to see to move forward. And I went to have been able to um, establish the things that I have. Um, I never would have gone into abstracts. I would have continued to use, <laughs> I would have continued to use every color I could come up with, with paint. I love it. I love <laughs> it. Well, I do take it very seriously because your success is my success. And Absolutely. so that is, that's great. But I just, I applaud, applaud you for your growth, but you worked. See, there's a difference and you had the accountability. You met with that. You did it. And that's and, and the without, difference. Without your challenges, without your challenges, though, you, you would challenge me to do different things without you challenging me. Um, it sounds like we're just going back and forth, but it's just so true. Without you putting the challenges out there and challenging me to be more, I wouldn't be more. Yeah. I yeah. would still be the same, which would, you know, so that's okay for some people, but I really, really want to be um, an excelling artist. I really want to be someone that's yes. that out there and, and can produce work that people brings joy to other people. Yeah. That bring, yeah. to brings joy. I mean, like what, a, I think one of the big challenges that I offer uh, people is um, when they try something new, I say, don't do a onesie on that. Do five because mm -hmm. you then learn about it. You may say, oh, but I didn't like that. I did one. We'll do five and find out why. Yeah. Find out what direction you do like. Because <laughs> yeah. usually the direction yeah. that you do yeah. like. And you actually challenged me at one point to do a painting with plenty of red. Oh, I did. I did. It hurt. It, just... it, hurt. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of like, okay, I'm going to really have fun with her this time. <laughs> so, but I did but... find colors I did like. <laughs> But I have loved watching you grow. You're a real inspiration because you take your art seriously. You, you've invested in yourself. You, you really have to admire what you've done because that's, it shows the confidence now that you have, you have a, you're an accomplished artist, museum show, residency, all these things with great paintings. And so congratulations. Thank and now so what is your website? So people can go and look. It's margaretdukeman.com. Okay. It's easy and simple. All right. <laughs> um, any last words before we go? I mean, did you any, uh, you know, just to artists, what, what do they need? What, I mean, just whatever you think. I think, I think um, if I were talking to my, my younger self, I'd say, go ahead and put it out there, put it out there. Um, you don't know unless you put it out there where it's going to go. And also challenge yourself to work with the coach. Cause I think seeing, having someone point out um, your pluses as well as your minuses is so important. And also they can help you see, see the, um, see past all the trees. You can see past the noise. You know, sometimes we grab the first thing that's noise and grab onto it and, and move on, yeah. but they help you focus and get, get to where you want to go. And they'll be a lifelong friend. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> and uh, yeah. And this way you get to take the foot off the brake and put it yeah. on the accelerator. Yeah. And I never would have done that had it not been for um, signing up for the class that I did first and, and going into coaching with you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for this. And thanks for sharing your journey because it's an inspiration for others. And so uh, I'm sure they can email you if they've got questions. Absolutely. It's just margaretdukeman at gmail.com. There you go. Simple, simple. And that's great. That's easy to I'd remember. Love, so I'd love to hear from them. That's a great, I mean, I love to hear from my people. So I agree with you, you know, yeah. so. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you very much for inviting me and also for being my great friend and coach. Thank you. And we will see you guys later. And thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.